Welcome to the HPC and Big Data course, a course where you will learn how to go beyond the limit of your desktop computer and use big systems to solve big problems. My name is Adam Bloom, and in the context of this course, I will be giving the introductory lectures, which hopefully will introduce you to concepts which will help you to understand parallel and distributed system in general. The course is composed of two types of activities, the introductory lectures and the workshops. In this video, I will focus on describing the content of the introductory lectures. For more information about the workshops, you can watch similar videos available on the course website. The first thing we will look in the introductory courses are some concepts which will have a direct impact on the performance of your application. In other words, we will teach you the ingredients which will help you to design application which scales with the number of processors. Using more processors or more CPUs does not always lead to better performance. On the contrary, there are cases where using more CPUs will lead to slower application and lower performance. We will also present and discuss system you can use to scale up your applications like Git systems but we also discuss utility computing and the software orientation which led to the introductory of the popular cloud systems. Another important topic which will be discussed in these lectures is the concept of scientific workflows. Scientific workflows are used by scientists in many scientific domain to compose and create complex applications which run on distributed systems. Scientific workflows have proven to be very effective as they hide the complexity of the underlying infrastructure and provide a very easy and intuitive user interface. Finally, we will discuss a couple of concepts behind the terms big data and data science with a special focus on the engineering aspect of these two terms. We will also describe some tools and framework which are used in practice to solve big data problems. If you are a student and you are interested in the 6EC associated with the course, you have to do two types of assignments. A reading assignment, which is following the introductory lectures, and practical assignment, which are given after each workshop. For more information about the time, date and location of the course, please visit our website. I look forward to see you at the lectures.